An experiment is a research method used by psychologists which involves the manipulation of variables in order to discover cause and effect. It differs from non-experimental methods in that it involves the deliberate manipulation of one variable while trying to keep all other variables constant. There are three main types of experiments, laboratory experiments, field experiments, and quasi or natural experiments. In the laboratory or field experiment, the researcher manipulates the independent variable, which means that they can make the conditions themselves, where they can then measure the effect. In a quasi or natural experiment, the independent variable is naturally occurring, without the researcher's manipulation. The researcher will have some way of knowing which group or condition the person is in, and will just measure the effects. One strength of a laboratory experiment is that there are high levels of control, meaning that it is objective, so therefore extraneous variables are avoided and independent variables can be isolated to measure the effect on the dependent variable and therefore we can infer cause and effect. Laboratory experiments are also highly reliable because of the high levels of control, which produce a standardised procedure making it easier to repeat in order to look for consistent or similar findings. A weakness of a laboratory experiment is that they are low in ecological validity because the researchers have ensured that there is a high level of control. Therefore, it may be hard to generalise the results to other situations where they are not as controlled, since the participant could behave significantly different in these two different situations. Another weakness is that high levels of control could produce illicit demand characteristics from participants or respond to social desirability bias if they try to guess the aim of the experiment from the controls, unintentionally or otherwise. A further weakness is that results may be biased by sampling, demand characteristics or experimenter bias. One strength of a field experiment is that they are high in ecological validity because they are conducted in the participant's natural environment. So therefore, they will act normally and the results will be representative of everyday life and can be generalised to other settings. One weakness of the field experiment is that the researcher cannot completely isolate the independent variable to measure the effect on the dependent variable. Therefore, we cannot totally infer cause and effect, as we cannot totally be sure that the independent variable is affecting the dependent variable or whether it is actually some other extraneous variable. Another weakness is that field experiments arguably are not very reliable. This is because there is not a lot of control and no complete standardised procedure. Therefore, it is harder to replicate in exactly the same way, and therefore it will be harder to find the same findings again. One strength of the quasi or natural experiment is that the independent variable is not manipulated, which makes the situation more ecologically valid. This, in turn, makes it more generalisable to other situations or people. A further strength is that quasi-experiment allows researchers to investigate variables that would often be impractical to manipulate or investigate in other ways. One of the weaknesses of quasi-experiments is that the researcher has to wait for the conditions to happen naturally because they are not allowed to manipulate the independent variable, which could mean they have to wait a long time, or they may not have very many participants, and therefore the sample may not be representative of the target population. Another weakness is that it's difficult or impossible to infer cause and effect due to the lack of control over extraneous variables and no manipulation over the independent variable, which can also lead to difficulty in replicating the study exactly. 